This short video will show you how to take the models from the Home Cinema Number no. 1 mini project and create a very basic and easy layout. All of the uh, methods that we'll, be, that we'll go over in this video can be used to create any of the layouts on this project sheet. The particular layout that we're going to make though isn't on this sheet. It's actually this guy right here. So we're going to use the uh, popcorn box, the movie reel, and the film strip, and we're going to show you how to simulate some V-carving on the popcorn box. Now all the different um, tools and methods can be used to create any of these layouts. Um, and one of the things I did want to point out to you was this layout right here, which has um, the film strip mirrored and then merged into another film strip. And we've modeled it specifically for you to be able to do that. So you can make a layout a lot like that, which once it's all laid out and rendered, looks like this. So that's pretty unique. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to open up a Spire and we're going to create a new file. And this file, uh, this job is going to be uh, about eight inches by eight inches, uh, half inch thick. We're going to use our units are going to be in inches, of course. Um, we're going to use a modeling resolution of very high and we're going to click OK. We're going to go over to our 3D clip art tab and I've already added in, so I've downloaded and unzipped and moved the um, home cinema number one mini project into the place where all my other mini projects are. Um, and Aspire has created us some nice little thumbnails here. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the film strip, double click on the popcorn component, and double click on the movie reel component. Now I didn't bring these in in any particular order, um, so we need to kind of organize our 2D view here a little better. First of all, I want the film strip to wrap over top of my other components. So if I select the, um, the film strip, double click on it, right click and go down to move to front. What is done, or what Aspire has done, is moved the bitmap preview um, of the film strip to the front, so I can better, easier lay this out. So I'm just going to scale this up a little bit here, and then I'm going to grab the center and just scoot it down a little bit there. Perfect. <clears throat> then I'm going to go ahead and grab the movie reel, and we are going to scale it down. I'm just kind of roughly laying this stuff out. Uh, it'll all change probably in a minute or two, but I'm just wanted to get things looking pretty good. Yeah, we'll bring them make it a little bigger, maybe. And then we're going to move the popcorn box into place. Now, using the same technique that we used a minute ago to move the ribbon bitmap ahead, we're actually going to. Um, I'm just using the cursor keys, by the way, to nudge the popcorn box up a little bit. I want to move the the film reel, the movie reel to the back. So we're going to go ahead and right click on it and we're going to move it to the back. So this is kind of the layering that I want roughly. I'd like to have the movie reel in the back, the popcorn box overlaid over top of it, and then the ribbon, not the ribbon, excuse me, the uh, film strip wrapping uh, around everything. That looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click every, I'm going to select everything. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and select all of the components and then I'm going to press F9 and that will center it in my job space. Flip over to our 3D view. Now it looks pretty messy because Aspire has um, by default chosen uh, to add all of the components together when it brings them in. So what we need to do now is merge everything opposed to add. So we're going to click to our modeling tab. We're going to select the film strip. Holding down the shift key we're going to select the popcorn box and the movie reel. We're going to right click Go to Combine Mode and Merge. And now we have a good sense of what this end layout is going to look like. Now, a few little things are going to change, um, but first of all, I'm going to point out a few things. When we designed these components, we designed some nice features into them. One is the popcorn box is angled on one side and has a raised edge on this side. That way you can tuck things in underneath it or lean things up against it. The a film strip actually goes from the background to the foreground and you can tuck things underneath it as well. And also if you mirror this to the right and you merge the other film strip into this film strip, you can have one continuous piece of film 
and um, that's illustrated on the project sheet for this uh, mini project. So what we're going to do now, oh yeah, and also the um, the movie reel is angled. This is the high point, and then it goes back, so you can tuck it under things and still get a good good Z height out of it in the end. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to refine this a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and look at both our 2D and our 3D window at the same time. We're going to just click on your zero plane here so that we don't have anything selected. We're going to double click our popcorn box and we're just going to nudge it over just a little bit to the right. And then we're going to grab, do the same to our um, movie reel, but we're just going to bring it down instead. Down a couple clicks here just so we can see that piece of popcorn up top there. And then we're going to shift select both of those and using the cursor keys again, we're going to nudge them up so that we end up not seeing anything lay or hanging underneath our film strip. Perfect. There's only one more thing we're going to want to do. I want to give a little bit more Z height. There's quite a step here between the uh, film strip and the movie reel. So I want to give it a little bit more Z height if I can. So I'm going to select the movie reel in the 2D view. I'm going to go here and adjust the properties. And we're going to change this to 2.8 instead. And press the space bar and that will automatically scale it up. And you see, if you were looking over here um, in the 3D view, it actually stepped this up a little bit. But we still have a nice little step here. So everything looks nice and consistent. And I think everything looks pretty good. Now for the last part of this layout, we're actually going to lay in some text, the popcorn text. Now, if you want to take it a bit farther, you could lay in, you know, uh, some family cinema text in here or home movie or something like that and V-carve it right on the film strip. But for now, we're just going to simulate some V-carving um, on the actual popcorn box. So let's go over to our drawing tab. We're going to grab our text creator here. We're going to type in the word pop, press enter, and corn. We're going to make sure that we have it bold, the alignments to the center, and this is a fine font for this. We're going to click apply, close that, and then we're just going to size this in the 2D view to fit inside the circle that's on the actual popcorn box. And again, we can use our cursor keys to kind of nudge that into place and then we're going to rotate it just slightly maybe bring it down a little bit there we go perfect so to simulate that as being v carving so we can show it to our customer or get our wife's approval um, i'm going to go ahead and go to the modeling tab we're going to create an actual shape from that we're going to create a pyramid shape at minus 35 degrees we're going to change this a base base height to point zero Five, and that's just going to give us a little bit of a drop. And then we are going to go ahead and all this just stays to the defaults. And we're going to add this. We're going to click apply. And Aspire will set us up with a nice simulated V carving look over here so that we can show this off and get some approval from the people that are going to use our home theater. And there you have it. Let's take a minute and go back to CNC Menu Projects and the Home Cinema Number 1 project page. And I want to point out some quick things to you. One, as we scroll down, you'll see that there's some nice layouts here, a nice inspiration for you to refer to. Of course, there's the project sheet, which comes included in the zip file if you choose to purchase the mini project. If not, you can download it from here and just keep it in your catalog. Uh, there's lots of food for thought ideas here, um, some really neat ones. Uh, one of the things that I didn't mention is that you could machine this clapper board and use some uh, chalkboard paint and paint this part back and actually use it like a real clapper board in your home theater and maybe write the movie of the night on it in some chalk. There's the hack, um, the mini project hack. So what we've done here is we've taken the Western Saloon number one models. That would be the rustic sign and the bull skull. And we added to it the film strip mirrored. And we've made a nice sign for a, um, a Western themed movie night. And um, if you do purchase this mini project and you come up with your own designs, we'd love to see them. So why don't you email them to us and you might see them appear at the very bottom of the project page and we'll also give you some credit there. Anyway, thank you so much and I hope that you uh, enjoy the Home Cinema number one mini project.